Hey YouTube, do you want to know how to add footstep sounds to your character or enemy or anything that moves? Like this? Yep, footstep sounds just like that. This can work for 2D or 3D. Well, I'm going to show you right now. Let's go. Hey guys, Castlace here with Castlace Tech, helping to teach you how to build your own game bigger, better, and of course, more fun. And here on this channel, I make easy to follow tutorial videos on how to create animations, add special effects, or add features like buttons, levels, bosses, enemies, you name it, all into your Unity game, just like this video. I also make videos of me creating Unity games and playing it, like my Jurassic World game series where I create from scratch and build an entire Jurassic World game filled with dinosaurs. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So let's go. All right, it's so easy to add footstep sounds to your character that you could probably do with your eyes closed. Okay, maybe not with your eyes closed. You, you guys know what I mean. So here I have my blue raptor from my uh, Jurassic World game series or my own Jurassic game. And uh, I added footstep sounds to my uh, raptor and they seem very realistic, listen. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So first I'm going to exit out of this. A few moments later. Okay, the hardest part is actually to find the footsteps that you want. So depending on like, you know, what your character or unit is going to be walking on, say on wood, you want to find the right footstep sounds and that what, and that's what's going to make it seem more realistic. So, you know, find the terrain that your unit is going to be walking on and find, find some footstep sounds that is going to work for that terrain. So once you have your footstep sounds, I have it right here. One, two, three, four, different types of footstep sounds. Man, a bus just passed by now, it's pretty loud, so I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so create a script. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you know how to you know, move your uh, character and object. If you don't, I have a uh, tutorial video on that, on how to move your uh, object or unit. Uh, just check out my YouTube channel. But let's just assume that you, you know how to move your character already, but just don't have the footsteps. So uh, go to your script. Several months later, Okay, so here I have my script attached to my uh, dinosaur, and this is what's going to be moving the raptor. So type uh, serialized field private audio clip. So this is how we're going to be accessing the, uh, the footstep sound. So since I have four different types of uh, footstep sounds, I, ha I just typed out four of these. I just call it dino footstep one, dino footstep two, dino footstep three, so that uh, it will pop up right here. So I also want you to create an array audio clip. So in order to create an array in C sharp, you have to add these brackets to uh, at the end of audio clip and then just give it a name as well. So I just call it dino footstep array, okay? So you're gonna have one footstep or two, depending on your, your game or how many you have. I have four and an array. So uh, this array will contain the same amount of footsteps here and I'll show you why I want you to create an array later. So. Let's go back into our uh, game. Seven hours later. So I want you to fill out all the uh, footsteps here. So, so if you enter anything correctly and there's no bug, uh, it should pop up right here. So fill up the uh, the footsteps. I want to be footstep one, footstep two, three, four, and your ray should be right here. So go to it. It, it should say zero from the beginning. So we're gonna start at zero. Whoops. There we go. So it's gonna be zero. So go to it. I'm gonna put four. Okay. I want four footsteps. So I put my first one here. Second one. Third one. And fourth one. So now that you have all this filled, let's go back into our script. Two hours later. Okay. In our script, I want you. I want you to go and add these functions to your script. We're gonna create a few functions right here. So we're gonna call the first one public void dino footstep function one. Okay. And then type audio source dot play clip at point. And then, so the first parameter is going to be your audio clip. So this is going to be from your holder up here, the variables up here that you added. So I filled it in, dino footstep one. And then put transform that position. So where do you want to play this audio clip? So obviously we want to play the audio, audio clip on your object at whatever position it is. At that time frame. So, when you put 
uh, transform that position or just take the position of your object and put it in here and the clip that you want to play and this and when you activate this function it will play the clip at whatever position that your object is going to be in so just copy and paste this and create it four more times so you could be dino footstep function two and put the second footstep here third and fourth so you have four of these now I also want you to create an array so let's go up here I mean sorry I mean I want you to use the array function that you created for your sound clips as well and you'll see why so this is to randomize the footsteps okay so I want you to put public void random dinosaur or call it whatever you want I just called it random dino footstep function okay create an int random type equals unity engine dot random dot range so what this is is this lets me randomize uh, the uh, random type so what this is going to do is I want it to pick a number from 0 to 3 at random when I run this function it'll take a number between 0 and 3 and put it into random type okay so this is just to randomize it and depending on how long your you know your sound array is it's if it's 4 you want to start at 0 because uh, all array starts at 0 not at 1 so I want to do 0 and 3 so it's going to be 0 1 2 3 so that's four numbers okay so and then you'll go to your array and it'll select whichever sound uh, in that position okay so 0 to 3 then do audio clip what we did down here audio clip and just access your array put the brackets and put the random number that you want into the bracket so that once it randomizes it it'll go into the array find the, the number and take whatever footstep it is and same same thing here transform that position okay so now that you have you should have five functions a random one that access all your array with all the footsteps uh, footstep one function footstep two footstep three footstep four well actually oh yeah that's five okay yeah there we go that's five so five don't worry about these uh, other ones these are for attacking and stuff you could you could implement these for attack and hurt and other sound effects if you want but right now we're just doing functions so make sure you have these okay so now that you have these functions all right so i'm gonna go back here and make sure these are all filled because um when i ran these functions i was like why is it not making any sounds i was like i forgot to add in the uh, footsteps sounds into uh the parameters and that's why so you have your functions, you have your sounds, go to your um, your object or your character and go to animations, find your walk animation for whatever character you created for walk animation. So right here I have blue raptor walk, okay? So here's this walk animation, let me play how it looks like, okay? So this is how it looks like, alright? So right here I want you to find whenever your character steps down on the floor or yeah, right here I would say. I'll click on it, click on your animation. I'm gonna remove this really quickly. Delete. So I'm just gonna start from the beginning, just assuming that these aren't here, okay? So find a good point, okay? So right when your character steps on the floor, I'm gonna say right here, click on this button right here. So add an event. So what this is, it's gonna add an event to your animation. So you could activate a function right when this frame activates in the game itself. So, I clicked here, click on your uh, event, and this uh, event, I mean animation event should pop up. And go to here, find your function. So right here we have the random one, dino footstep one, two, and three, and four. So I'm gonna just have two right now, okay? And I'll show you how it sounds like. One, I'm gonna go right here, I think right here sounds good. An event, I'm gonna go to dino footstep two. Okay, now that you have these functions here, now you can listen. There we go. This jet is that easy. Now, the hard part is actually making it sound realistic. So, let's just say your, your guy walks really fast, right? You might want to group these animations fast, uh, closer to each other, so that uh, it sounds better. Or, you know, just move them around. You could say, okay, maybe this frame, I think he should have the footstep activate, or that frame, you know? Just move it around and listen, you know? This is up to you. This is your character, if you want, depending on how, how uh, realistic you want it or how perfect you want it. I'm a perfectionist sometimes, so, you know, I really want it to sound as uh, best as possible. So I messed around 
And uh, you know, you might even add a third footstep, you know, depending how long your walking animation is. So I'm gonna put another one here, maybe put footstep three, whichever footstep you like. See, now it sounds like this. And, you know, it sounds like he's running, so that's not correct for sure. So I'm gonna click on this, right click, delete that event. And for me, um, why I have you added the random one is, I mean the random uh, function is, now if you click on here, I'm gonna go to random. And then I'm gonna switch this back to random. I, I found that for this uh, dinosaur, it sounds better if I had the random. So basically it just, it just goes, it activates the random function. And it'll pick one out of the four sound clips I have for the footstep and just play it. Instead of having just two sound clips, or like predetermined sound clips, it doesn't sound as realistic to me. So when I have these random ones, you'll see what I mean. I'm gonna play it now and let's listen. Yeah, I think it sounds better with random. You know, it's up to you, you know? Anyways, now you see how easy it is? Now I'm gonna show you another one, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to put, make it sound realistic for gigantic units, okay? So let's just, I have it already ready. So now I'm gonna pause, uh, unplay this. So I'm gonna go to this guy, all right? Let's assume you have a gigantic boss, all right? He's like uh, a mountain giant or something, all right? So we're gonna scale this up. I'm gonna call it 10, all right? Ooh, maybe 10 is too big, okay. I'm going with, um, Let's do it five times, okay? Five times. This is a T-Rex, all right? He's now a T-Rex, like I said. All right, he's a T-Rex. He's this big. Wow, look at that. Huge, right? Huge. Okay. And I'm going to also fix his box collider. Oh, he doesn't have a box collider. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay, so let's assume you have a boss, all right? We're going to change this up, all right? We're going to delete this. These footstep sounds here. Okay. It's gonna be a big unit, all right? We're gonna go back to our, it's gonna be a big unit, all right? We're gonna go back to our script now. Okay, here I have my script again, okay? I'm gonna create more footstep sounds. Let's gonna call this. I'm kind of lazy, so you know, I like to copy and paste. So we're gonna call this loud foot, okay? Just call it loud foot one. Call it whatever you want. Loudfoot 2. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds kind of funny when I said Loudfoot. Alright. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to create the, uh, these functions again. I'm going to call this uh, uh, Loud Foot Step Sound 1. I'm going to go here. I'm going to find Loud Foot. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, Loud Sound. There we go. Is it? No, that's not it. Wait, hold up. What's my unit? What's my thing called again? Oh, large foot. <laughs> Ugh, mind, mind blown. Mind blown. Sorry about that. Large foot. One. There we go. <laughs> Man, how did I make that mistake? It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like a Thursday right now, and I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna copy and paste that and call this. Whoops, two, and this is large, foot two. There we go. All right, now that I have my footstep functions and my sound clips here, let's get back into the game. Five minutes later. Okay, I'm back in the game, so let's wait until it pops up. There we go, all right, it's right there. So I'm gonna find my footsteps. So I already have large footstep sounds already, so I, um. What I did was I, you know, I searched it up. You can also take your current footsteps, right, and then go to um, use uh, use any software and just make the volume higher, you know, and so make it louder. But you know, I, I I already have mine ready, so I'm gonna put these here. I'm sure how that sounds like. All right, it's gonna sound awesome. That's all I gotta say. So I'm gonna go back into my animation, find his walk animation, and go to add event here. And I think I was like I chose right here seven. I'm gonna add event here. Go to the click on this, and where's my large footsteps? Here we go. One. I'm going to find two, and there we go. So hopefully there's no errors, no bugs. Save. All right, let's play this thing. Come on, work. Yeah. Look at how that sounds. 
Look, now it sounds like a gigantic uh, monster, doesn't it? Hold on, I can't even see my T-Rex, so I'm gonna make him a little bit smaller. I think it's too, he's too large. I'm gonna make him... four? Still can't see him, wow. Three? Okay, three. Damn, I made him too big. Alright. Okay, let's uh, reposition him a little bit, make him look more realistic there. There! Perfect! Now let's get back in the game. There we go, now I can see him. Now, doesn't that sound like a gigantic uh, T-Rex coming your way? Yeah! Alright, don't mind the attacking sound, it's kind of low volume because uh, I, didn't, I didn't increase the volume for that, but... Hey, look at the footstep sound, man! Check it out! It's working. Doesn't that sound cool? Now, if you just put it, you know, now you know... So now you know how to add footstep sound to your character, you know, be small, and you know how to add foot large, I mean, now you know how to add, now you know how to add louder footstep sound to like, you know, larger units, such as, you know, like your bosses, your, your dinosaurs, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that sounds, I don't know why, but this sounds very satisfying, like, you know, this kind of walking footstep, for some reason, it sounds very satisfying, or is it just me, you know, I, I don't know, you tell me, you tell me. Yeah, that's pretty satisfying. Anyways, um, that's all I have for you today. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me what else you want to learn on Unity. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button for more videos like this in the future. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos, like my current Jurassic World game series, where I create a Jurassic World game from scratch. And I added dinosaurs, I even have Spider-Man in it right now, so don't forget to check that out. Anyways, that's it. See you later!